our people and our country are being hurt by current government policies. He was 10 years younger, but the words Michael Bloomberg used in 2008, the very first time he mulled running for president, could be used in a campaign commercial today. And they just might be. Because today, the 76-year-old billionaire took the next step in his latest flirtation with the White House. He re-registered as a Democrat, making the announcement in pre-dawn social media posts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where he has over 3 million followers. And he was and coy about his ambition, saying he did it because we need Democrats to provide the checks and balance our nation so badly needs. Using social media is very smart. It immediately takes away the age question and puts him more in line with younger people. He instantly got the message across. As we reported exclusively in June, the former three-term mayor is carefully laying the groundwork for a presidential run. And unlike his efforts in 2008, 2012, and 2016, 2020 may be the year he's finally ready to show he can kiss babies, eat hot dogs, and press the flesh with the best of them. Becoming a Democrat to challenge President Trump is just the latest step in putting his considerable fortune into the effort. He's also spending $80 million to help Democrats take control of the House and picking up political IOUs across the country. He's also shelling out $150 million on climate change initiatives and working on an immigration reform initiative with publisher Rupert Murdoch. Political consultant Hank Scheinkoff says Bloomberg might be an old rich guy from New York, but he has a real shot at making 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue his next home. In 2016, a bunch of people sat around and said, well, you know, there's a guy who lives on Fifth Avenue. His name is Trump. He's got a big building. He can't win. Guess what? He did. Anything can happen. And Mike Bloomberg may be the anything in 2020. I love Michael Bloomberg. Please, God, make it happen. We couldn't ask for a better man. In the circles I travel, Michael Bloomberg is known as Mayor Pepper Spray because he's responsible for completely dismantling one of the most important protests in the history of New York City, which is Occupy. I think, uh, you know, the United States needs somebody that's more of a... Uh, less of a partisan. Could be beneficial, I mean, but then again, here we go, another billionaire. How in touch is he really with, um, you know, the people, the common man? I think it's a great idea. I have no opinion on it, but good luck to him. It'd be great for the Democrats, and I'd love to see it happen. Well, political consultant Hank Scheinkoff has a suggestion that could give Bloomberg an edge. If he runs, Scheinkoff says, pick Caroline Kennedy as his running mate. Hmm. Dana? I walked by Mayor Bloomberg last night outside Yankee Stadium, and there's like a phalanx of people <laughs> around him, you know, that just moved very well. And, and I thought about that. I thought that could be, you know signs of what's to come of him, uh, all the security, and I guess today also he's a happy Red Sox fan as well, right? Well, I think he's a Yankee fan, Is actually. He? Well, he became a Yankee fan. Oh, he used right. To, he used to live. In you got the, the other mayor. The oh, other yeah, right. mayor is the Red Sox fan. Okay. This guy, Yankee fan. Yankee fan. All right. Massachusetts native, though.